He's done it again. Now, what he wants to... I think he might take him off here, because I think... around to Sarah Pereira, whose last two balls have gone for four. Look at the maybe using review. Virtual pitching in line. Well, I think it gets pretty obvious and clear there, doesn't it? Daniel Vittori, I think, is in a bit of trouble. No problems with pitching in line. We didn't see anything on Snicko. But the question is, look at that impact in line. More than 300 centimetres. So it's over three metres. It means they can't give a decision. So it remains not out. Do the fact that three metres down to the... What I'm saying there is from where the stumps are in the ground, it's three metres down to where it's impacted with the Daniel Vittori's pad. So they cannot give the decision out. And on top of that, I think the Shalane can still lose their appeal. Or their review. So even though... The review can't make a decision because of the fact that Daniel Vittori has got such a big stride in. It's unfair, isn't it? It doesn't seem right. Well, if he had to give it out, this decision stands. Mahela Jaha Wardner. I want to watch himself here. The rules are all cold. Did you know that rule about the three metres or 300 centimetres? Yeah, I was aware of it. So what it's saying now is you just bet out of your crease and make sure you're 300 centimetres down the wicket. You can't be given out.
maybe Sangha could also have a quick word. Clearly frustrated, I think it's more to do with how his boys have been in the field. Atmosphere in the ground, plenty of Sri Lankans. And uh, no ball called from square leg. No ball called from square leg. Now what's all this about? Let's just hang on and have a look at this. This is uh, very interesting. No ball called. And he's passed his signal towards his arm. Now just let's just think about this now. What is going to happen here? So it's all happened again. He's done it again. Now what he wants to, I think he might take him off here because I think the law or the playing condition says that if he bowls two, if he calls him twice, he then uh, has, to, has to take him out of the attack. So it's happened. And Arjuna is right in there. Now what he's saying, I think, Let's just see if we can pick up, right? He's called him for no boarding, and it's, it's the square leg umpire who's called him. What is this about? Well, if I were Arjuna, I'd be telling him, if he's thrown it wide and you call it the over four, you're a club cricketer, you have no experience in this matter. The officials who made the decision, all by two of the most experienced international players, and here we have a man. Hero. I think they, uh, they're not going to go off the ground, are they? They're going to concede the match. And uh, McQuillan is taking his time. I think the three, the three Lankans have had enough. They've conceded the match. Well, I've got to say that I've got just a little bit of sympathy with the Sri Lankans here. They have absolutely had enough, and uh, McQuillan has um, called no ball. Sorry, Emerson has called no ball from square leg. I'd say this game has been conceded. Mm, I don't blame Arjuna. Uh, Arjuna and is exactly right. I think umpire Emerson is saying that he knows more than everyone else playing the game. Umpires all around the world. I'm happy with what that young man has done. This man here doesn't say anything the first over. I find it uh, totally unnecessary, Bill. If there's anything to be discussed, you don't do it in the middle of a series. Discuss it at the end. It's been good enough for everyone else around the world. This has been building up. And there's the match referee. Peter van der Merwe, the match referee. And I've always found Peter van der Merwe a very fair and honest man. And I think that he's going to talk to Arjuna. And I think that Arjuna is totally unhappy about the situation. I think it's totally unnecessary. But uh, this is amazing scenes here at the Adelaide Oval and doing nothing at all for international cricket. Well, Arjuna looks to me as if he's standing his ground here. And I think he's got every right to. He is an angry man. I think he's angry, he's disappointed. I get the feeling they're going to come back onto the field. But this is just uh, a terrible, terrible situation.